hello everyone hope you are doing well so in this video we will talk about perform find api this api basically performs a find operation on an entity or table it allows fetching particular fields of entity instead of all as per search result requirements so here is an entity called job sandbox and um, we have applied perform find on this we will be covering all the in parameters one by one now the first one is the input fields it is a required parameter uh, basically what input field does it uh, is that it maps to create a find function it is a map to create a find function all the records will be filtered on the basis of key value pairs of this map so here we have provided some key value pairs of status id status id operator system job enum id operator system job enum id and product store id so basically this is the uh, key pairs value key value pairs on which the find operation is to be performed so we can also provide this uh, suffix like this which will perform an operation here we have provided a value in and this in basically checks whether a particular property that is this system job enum id exist in an array or not so these are the input fields then we have next the field list so this is the list of fields you want to select from an entity here we have provided some fields which we want to get displayed in the response so we have uh, specified the field like this in the field list parameter after that we have a entity name this is actually a required parameter this is an optional parameter this is required we have to specify the name of the entity on which we we are performing the operation after this we are having no condition find that is we haven't provided any condition or filters to to our api so we have provided a why uh, that means yes to it then after this we are having the view size and view index view size will define how many records we want to fetch and view index will define from which index we want our uh, records to be fetched it will be specifying the index so here we have given zero index after that we are having order by and order by is again optional it will perform ordering of records and it will be done according to the field name which we have provided here we have provided job id and ascending so it will arrange or order the uh, response according to the job id and in ascending order so we can perform descending as well over here it is it has ordered it by descending order now we can also change this to run time and it will arrange our uh, uh, arrange our response according to the run time and in descending order so this is the way we can provide in parameters in our perform find and we can also provide some operation then we can specify the fields then we can specify the view size and we can order by we can order it accordingly next we will be taking an example of how we have dispatched data over here using the perform find and using the enumeration entity so this is the payload that we have passed over here and response we are getting like this so we have provided enum ids over here then we have provided an and op operator and in that we have provided in as the value 
then we have specified the field list uh, that we want enum id description and enum name then we have provided entity name that is a required parameter then no condition find and lastly we have specified the view size and in response we are getting data somewhat like this so here we have used the perform find api to uh, display the data of our enumeration that is the job description over here as we can see we are getting data like this description enum id and enum name so this values we have used in our markup and we have displayed the dis uh, displayed this information like this so this is the way how perform find works and how we can provide the parameters what are the required and optional parameters of perform find and hope you like this video thank you so much for watching this video